G'day everyone and welcome to more assertive cargo ships building. I was gonna, I think I'm today going to make one from scratch. Something entirely different to the previous designs. What I'd really like to do is design something around the concept that it will work on Omicron and will be one of the easier encounters so that I see stuff other than what I've been currently seeing in survival impossible I'd like to have a bit more variety at that sort of level that's the idea anyway um, I've got a rough idea of the outline of what I'm thinking hey dragon excuse me for a second <coughs> yeah I got a rough idea of the outline of what I'm wanting to do and I'm thinking something with a with an underslung cargo so, thinking along those lines, I might just build off this wall here. Uh, how big can I go and how many thrusters can I squeeze into this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my comfy building stream. Something just chill and relaxed so we can chat because um, I always find that the YouTube streams are a little bit more pressure, whereas Twitch I can just relax and do my thing at my own pace. Um, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna roughly map out the shape and then I'll make this look better. Thinking landing legs, so the craft that it, or the base that it's delivering to can go underneath. And then body of the craft up here. Do I want a single leg in front? Or do I want to go with double front and back? Oh, thanks, Mythos. Yeah, I don't know how I... I don't know that I could do D&D &D and watch a stream. I, it's like when I hear about people who edit and watch stuff. I'm like, you just can't concentrate on what you're doing well enough. I couldn't do it. I want that. Or shall I go single? Maybe I'll go a closer in double at the front and ensure that I've actually made this thing odd numbers at the back. That's the other important thing. And one, two, three. And I didn't. Thought so. We'll go that. Alright, so you're in the middle of something bigger that you can just ignore us. Oh. <laughs> I suppose what you're experiencing, Amaro, is similar to what I do when Capac's in the middle of something and I'm like, yeah, he's busy, but I'm not. So I'll just go and multitask. Or when I'm in the middle of doing something and he decides to pull out his phone and check Facebook. Which I have seen him do on numerous occasions. Yeah, this is sort of what I was thinking. And with cargo. Now, do I want to have the big cargoes under song? You might just put two underneath. Time it walks there. I want conveyors. So I thought I'd try. Ooh, that's an interesting thought, Dragnon. Thinking of being nasty on this one and have the cargo on merge blocks so it will drop on sensor or random timer. Hmm. Maybe I could make this on merge block. After all, I don't need the cargo system to actually function. Yeah, let's let's start with that in mind, and then I'll shape the armor in such a way that it's not obvious that they're on merge blocks. Now wait. Uh, that way. That way. Then. Let's go along there. 
should be able to get rid of Best do this so that it'll work. It's the best way to hide it. Plus, there's oh, so one of the things I'm really excited about working on these designs again for is Lucas released his rival AI stuff. So I've been chattering on about that for quite some time now and one of the really cool things about it is that it'll allow me to do some really specific scripted events stuff that is potentially going to allow for storyline elements or vague story sort of things little hints of story here and there I just want to make sure that when I've got that that's all right. oh no that's cool. That's not connected. That's what I wanted. <coughs> ah, my throat just does not want to stay clear. <laughs> uh, oh no, that drop down then was on purpose. I wanted to make sure that the cargo container wasn't connected by these inverted corner pieces. Uh, I wanted to make sure that when I, if I detached the merge block, it would detach. That's why I copied the whole design first. Hey, Zilna. Zilna, sorry. I missed the L. There we go. So I can do that sort of thing around where the cargo connects. And then if I do a second one... And I do it... Oops, wrong way around. And then I can design the rest of the ship around these two little modules. That'll be kind of cool. It should give uh, a very different design to any of the ones that were submitted or any of the ones that I've made so far. And I felt with the number of submitted ones I've done, I should probably start adding a few more of my own to it as well. Oops. Another there. Yeah. That'll work. Ah, uh, how evil do I want to get with this one? Feel free to suggest any evilness you like for this design, and I'll contemplate whether I want to go that evil or not. I do think I'll go fairly straightforward. Like, a lot of the evil stuff that's suggested tends to take up a lot of PCU, uh, sensors and all that sort of stuff, so you tend to lose a bit more. In term, like, you can't do as much. And that's again where Rival AI comes in. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to have a chat with Lucas about making sure he's available for the first stream I do where I go through using it. Because I don't feel confident in my memories of the walkthrough he gave me um, to run through it today. Otherwise I would have done it today. Um, he did give, give me a full rundown of how to put it together and all that sort of stuff about two months ago maybe um, showing me what the potential was and I'm really really excited by that but I don't think I can do it off the top of my head I don't think I'm good enough to remember it all uh, so we need to have that there and there and I should be able to get rid of these Oops. So that'll give me a bit of where the main uh, floor of the, the deck of the ship is. Ah, that's an interesting thought, Dragnon. Trying to nestle the remote in amongst all of the critical stuff so it's harder to get to it. <laughs> For 
Oh, for race. Um, he's not really evil, but a speaker sensor set to play annoying sounds. You'd have to mod in the annoying sounds, so they'd have to be included in the pack. Um, I would contemplate that for the future, but at the moment I think I'll stick with just adding the ships in the pack. But yeah, I suppose I could in the future add stuff like sound sets to the set of cargo ships mod if I wanted to include some special things in there. Some special little surprises. So when it lands, you should be able to drive a small grid truck underneath, hook up, and then take that off. That's kind of the idea I have in mind. Ah! <laughs> Ghost Dog, the rival AI will allow me to do things like electrifying an entire grid, so as soon as you come in contact with it, it electrocutes you and kills you, or injures you. Stuff like that will be possible, which should be seriously cool. Uh, it'll give me some other creative options in terms of grid protection that makes the grid fun to fight, but still not give you everything. Like, I could make bigger grids that leave you less loot. Or leave you only specific loot. Which I think is going to totally change the way I scale the encounters. So you'll be able to have more stuff available at early stages. Because if you don't aggress against it, it won't do anything mean to you. And I, I'm really, really excited by that possibility. Now, how do I want to do these legs so that they're interesting? actually lines up better with the shape. I think it's because of this little angled piece right in the center of screen now. <laughs> yeah, other creative ways to kill Capac. That is so true. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, kill Capac, get Capac killed, same thing. I am excited for new ways to watch him discover these things can actually cap get him. And I'm excited for the possibility of making so many ways these things can get us both that I get caught out by some of it. Because I'd love to get caught out by some of these things. I'd love to have some of that feeling of discovery myself just because I've made so many of these things. I don't remember which ones do what. And I should be able to randomize it all as well. So there'll be a little bit of unpredictability to how it all comes together. Ah, uh, Canbasini, that's... Uh, hiding gravity gens works really well in space, but it doesn't do anything on planets. Um, and it does leave some rather valuable loot behind if they manage to survive it and capture that gravity gen. So I'm often a bit hesitant to use them. Just for that reason, they're, they're just so valuable. What are we going to do here? This thing is looking like it's going to be enormous. Also, before I get too much further into this, I should really enable mirror mode. Just for 
fix this up first. And then I'll put on a mirror. So I'm not working twice as hard. <laughs> yeah, I want I want to make some stuff that's specific to Capac as well. Things that offer him sandwiches. Things that offer him all sorts of stuff that... And sometimes actually give it to him. Thanks, Doug. Um, something that actually... Sometimes he'll get what it offers. Sometimes he will be able to get rewards. Just so that he doesn't know when it's going to bite. Um, so it's not a 100% punishment all the time. So that sometimes he's like... Ooh, do I chance it, chance it this time? I might get something good. Do I not? Oh, do, do. And so, uh, yeah, I I think that will make it a lot more entertaining. Yeah, make one fifth of the snack machines trapped. So sometimes he gets punished, but sometimes he gets a snack. That sort of level of evil is what I'm thinking of doing. start thinking about thruster position with this. I can make this quite narrow, but then I've, why have I got these really wide legs? Hmm. Always have these ideas of these shapes I want to use in my head, and then you start putting the blocks down, you're like, that thing's gonna be enormous! It's going to be way too big. I need to simplify the shape of it. Now let's turn on our mirror mode. Is that all mirrored now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, my master plan to mess with Capac. And everyone else who plays with the mods, to be fair. It's not just Capac I want to get. I love hearing stories of the things that have gotten people that I've created. Uh, Demon Lord, I am building the next assertive cargo ship's ship. I thought I'd build one from scratch again because I haven't done that in a while. And I felt like building something from scratch after playing with the economy mode a bit today over on YouTube. Hmm. What if I... Oops. I'll bring these up and make little thruster pods. Here. Try and see what I can do in terms of having some reverse and lifting thrust in a little pod together. I suppose if I go to four, four and then do this. I'll just remove that one. Then I have enough room to pop some forward thrust there, some reverse thrust there, facing each other. Do I need that so high though, or is that starting to look a bit funny? I suppose if I curve this part out, it mightn't. <laughs> yeah, thankfully no spam bots. Oh man, I um. That was ridiculous. I don't know what... Like, I, I know why the spam bots are around, but why do people bother with that? Those spam bots were doing nothing. They didn't even have links. Like, and it... There were just so many of them that I, I could not handle it. It was very lucky that uh, 
Jackson rose to the challenge when I just dropped him in as a mod. Uh, Tex was there helping as well. <sighs> and I, I dropped I dropped Glenn in at a bit as well. It was just very fortunate that a few people were who I could trust were already in chat and were able to help quickly. Because there was no way I was going to be able to deal with that and keep streaming at the same time. It was just too much of it for me to keep on top of all the things. <laughs> yeah, Jackson. <laughs> Again, cannot express how thankful I are that I am that you helped me out then. Yeesh. That was getting messy. Uh, Dragon, I decided to do it on YouTube because I wasn't going to get time to put a video out this week for the channel. So I wanted to have something on there because there are a lot of people who don't go on Twitch for whatever reason. And so they would have been missing out. So I wanted to kind of share the love a bit. Make sure that people who watch just on YouTube were still getting content. Is that going to be all too tight? Wow, yeah. Six months. It goes by so fast. Uh, I'm not liking this still. I'll move on to shaping something else and then see what is left over for this. Let's try and get the underside somewhat done. Also, I am changing skins. That's better. More of a clean slate. So the trucks come in from the side and load up. What are they coming from the rear and load up? What is this? Drop it on a pad. Yeah, dragged on. It's there's there's a thing with Twitch that it the way it monetizes stuff can be a little bit well, can be a lot pushy, um, which shouldn't surprise from any company that's owned by Amazon. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit different. I I like having the two separate places to stream because then I get to do chill stuff here and then over on YouTube I can really focus and try and create something special each time I stream there. How about a flat T either side with thrusters along the edges of the T? Rear back under, drop the load, pull out. Yeah, I reckon you're right, I'm all time. Sort of a flat bed or something rolls in under, pulls this one out or pulls both out if it's big enough. Which means it should be appropriate to have some thrusters off the side that are thro throwing thrust downward. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Dragon. On a single lever level interior space on top, all nice and flat. Um, but how do we want to do this? Uh, Demon Lord, a bit of both. I've got. I had an idea to have the cargo pods as droppable underneath and primarily have the like, living space and functional blocks up at this level. Um, and then the rest of it's pretty much freeform. I don't have a strong plan in mind other than that. Let me do this. But I do want this strong enough to deal with Omicron. So that means plenty of thrust. Oops.
Well, also mean plenty of battery power. Yeah, Norikla, the vector thrust style ships do tend to add a whole extra bit of uh, coolness factor, but they just don't work for the AI. Um, and I don't like the risk of adding subgrids to these ships. It tends to... It tends to cause problems that become very difficult to weed out, to weed out and try and fix later on. So I do tend to avoid it. And indeed for the submissions that other people have made I've said no subgrids. Um, which I've stuck to for my own builds as well. No, this doesn't work. Uh oh. Oops. Uh, at what point would it be less resource to have a large thruster? Well, let's have a look. For a small grid thruster, you got 110. For a small thruster, you got 110 motors and 10 metal grids. For a large thruster, you've got 1,140. So, really, it's 10 of them. Would be one large Atmo. So, I suppose for this, I might be able to... Hmm. Might be able to justify putting two of them out on little spindly bits that easily get shot off and broken. Because they'll probably give less loot, given how easily they'll smash apart, than la the small ones would. Hmm. Yeah, the Buttercup uh, Vector Thrusted welder did not work one little bit yeah I think maybe I could do maybe I could do the large thruster It's a question of how I attach it. I think perhaps there would be better. So these usually look better when they're anchored on the side. And then you just ignore most of this middle bit. Oops. Took me a second to work out what I'd just done then, and I pressed V. What's that looking look from underneath? Uh, it's all getting very busy, I wanted it kind of more refined than that. No, not happy. Yeah, I've been, I've tried very carefully with these, with the rebuilds of other people's ships and with the uh, builds myself to try and limit the loot, but that may not become as big a factor. Uh, Demon Lord, not, I have not considered making something like the Marvel Helicarrier. The reason being something like that is just loot bonanza, because it all, it'd all have to be made with large thrusters and it's all just you capture one of them and your game is over uh, Aqua Cheetah this is for the assertive cargo ships mod that I've been working on progressively over 
many months now, actually. I can't remember exactly how long ago I started work on it. So those of you that know me will, would know that when I start doing random little bits like this, it's when I've just want a little bit of time to try and figure out my next move because I'm not sure what I want to do next in the build. Uh oh. I broke it, did it? <laughs> Let's quick load. <laughs> That's a good point, Dragnon. Trying to use weaker stuff to hold on the thrusters so that they'll more easily get shot off and... I suppose that gives a nice option of how to shoot the thing down, too. Um, you'd have an option to... I don't know if that saved me time or not. I'm just going to do that to make it less likely to happen again. You'd then have an option of shooting out the thrusters that way, too. Which is kind of interesting. Ones out. I'll try and keep that in mind as I do the attachment point and see what I can come up with that might work to reduce the strength of the attachment. Yeah, that's true, so Elliot, um, you might... An easy kill would be a problem, but... Remember, these all are cap will be capable of sending drones at you as well, so... An easy kill on the main ship is just losing you all your loot. So if you're trying to capture one of these, it's because you're wanting to get the loot, so... Shooting them down isn't necessarily what you're trying to do. How am I going to curve this up a little bit around the side to make it interesting. Ah uh, yeah, Oliver, this will be over on Flipsy later as usual. Um, probably then... Well, it has to be a minimum of 24 hours after the end of the stream that I post it. Uh, but yeah, it will definitely go up on Flipsy for you to watch later. As I know, particularly in Europe, it is very late right now. It's probably getting a bit late in the US as well. Hmm. I think these legs are the problem right now. I'm, I'm, I'll plan on adjusting that shape later. That's just a quick way of uh, linking these up without spending too much time on it. Yeah, FX. Um, I'm not always at a reasonable time, depending on your definition. Largely because I'm a morning person, and so if you're in Perth and I'm doing stuff in the morning, it's even earlier for you. But yeah, it. Uh, being Australian, there aren't that many of us. 
so you do tend to um, not find too many that stream at times that work for us. Like, not many people stream Australian evening times. And I'm guilty of that as well, because my schedule works better for streaming at other times. Yeah, I enjoyed Atlas. I just wanted something chill uh, to do after this morning's stream on YouTube. That's why I decided to do this. Otherwise, I would probably have joined, but I know I'll get roped into something that will drag me <laughs> for another six-hour stream. Because both of my last two streams in Atlas uh, were six-hour streams, or close enough to. I don't really have that much time today. I feel like that's giving me a better shape to work off. Yeah, Dragnon, that's so true. It is very, very difficult to get anything done quickly in Atlas, which is exactly what I'd heard about Ark before as well. Both of them are guilty of that. MMO style grind where you have to spend time as much as you have to spend effort to get things done. Alright, two big thrusters. somewhere like there would be better. Hmm. Are the ships in Space Engineers too flimsy? It depends. Uh, I don't have a good answer for whether yes or no on that one. Depends on what you're using them for. For normal, just mucking around, no. And I know why they made them so made them as weak as they did. It's because they wanted to show off their armor deformation stuff, because that is a unique thing to space engineers. The destruction in space engineers is so much better than in any other similar game. Um, so if they made everything rock solid, then you wouldn't get that. So they wanted to make things crash. And given the weight, the mass of these ships that we crash, they probably should destroy it the way they are. However, if you're talking about against their own weapons, yes. Because your combat is over realistically quickly, but realism isn't necessarily fun, as proven by the fact they've got jump drives, artificial grab gens, all that sort of stuff. Um, sometimes you just have to throw away reality because it's more fun to throw it away. And I think in the case of the damage versus their own weapons, perhaps Gatling turrets shouldn't do as much damage as they do. Same with... And maybe, and perhaps missiles or rockets, because they're not guided, um, should possibly be more expensive. And a bit more devastating or even as devastating as they are just so that you weren't firing them with abandon thank 3w me <laughs> yeah norikla i reject your reality and substitute my own and i think for a lot of things they should yeah madman when they adjusted the physics for wheels was an, is a perfect example of adjusting their physics system to be more fun rather than more realistic because the initial wheel system was very realistic given the physics constraints of the game but wow did people struggle to build something with them uh, i need to create another link back here to the ground because i'm about to break the other one Let's out uh, 
myself a bit more breathing room around shaping. I don't think shields should become vanilla. What I think they should have done was made it a server option for the safe zones to behave more like shields. So you could either have them behave as safe zones where they're for preventing offline raiding, or have them behave like shields for people who play with a group who will play by the rules. So that they don't have to get rid of safe zones altogether. Because the safe zones are pretty epic. Um, but there should have been an option around it. Thanks, man, man. Uh, safe zones do cost you in-game money. You have to pay for the zone chips. And zone chips cost you in-game money. So that's already part of the game. Yeah, Dragnon, you're exactly right. Shields do make the base game really easy. And then you have to up your weapon strength to cope with it. I actually tend to lean my concepts of balance toward... ...not smashing up the level of... Um, ...not increasing the shield strength, but decreasing stuff. You should wind stuff back to attempt balance. Thanks, Shale. Um, you should wind stuff back. It's why I don't have weapon mods in Survival Unlikely. Um, I've talked to this, I've talked with a few other creators about this sort of stuff. And power creep is a real problem when you're run, trying to run a series for a long time. And I feel with Survival Unlikely, with Survival Maybe, I managed that side of things really well. Survival unlikely more so, because I just refuse to use anything that's got more power than the basic. I just stubbornly sit there going, no, I will not do it, because <laughs> it means that then I can keep the series running for two however many years I already have. Yeah, Dragnon, exactly. Uh, Wasted, Wasted's one of the people I spoke to about this, and he and I have discussed this at length at times, trying to figure out better ways of managing it. Better ways of trying to have the content we want, with the drama we want, but without everything becoming OP. Um, and it's, it's tough. To be honest, with what I've done so far, it's more luck than good planning. That I've achieved something of what I hope is exciting to watch while still not feeling like you're watching Superman fight Superman. I'd much rather watch the sort of fights that were in the original Born Identity where it's gritty, it's real, than watch something that's two gods duking it out when you both you know they're both immortal, so how's anyone gonna win or lose? Um it just becomes a meaningless show of force rather than actually something that feels more visceral. Yeah, Demon Lord, it would be epic if these things had a little bit of a shock absorption role to them. It would look so cool. Watching something settle down on its landing gear and go... Right, how thrust? I still need to figure out the thrusters because I can't really place much else until I work that out. 
have not figured that out even though I've been chatting for several minutes and staring at this thing going, how? How? Hmm. Yeah, Norgla. It's, uh... If Piston's strength was a thing you could use you could create some seriously cool suspension systems in space engineers it sort of is a strength um but you can only really achieve that by putting it under extreme stress i haven't broken anything mackle i've just broken me because i can't figure out how to design something that i want to design How, how, how? Do I try and... Do I go back to the little ones? Is that how I should do it? Uh, engineer lad, do you mean... When you say sloped up or away from the ship, do you mean having it on... Similar to this sort of angle going to the landing gear, except going up or going down and having it attached to that. So that's what I was thinking. I'm just trying to work out how to do that without making the footprint of this ship enormous. That's kind of what I'm trying to fight right now. Hey, into darkness. How's it going? How am I going to do this? Do I just tuck them in tight like that? Hmm. That doesn't look the worst. I'm not a big fan of how I have to cut that corner off, though. I think that's one of the reasons I tend to go more towards the small thrusters. Um, they fill in the gaps that you create. They're a lot easier to incorporate into the design. Yeah, a medium thruster that fills out to like a that size would kind of be handy. And that actually fills out the full square rather than the large ones, how it's all curved around. Because you have to do a totally different design style to try and incorporate those large ones. Hmm. I think if I can't come up with a design soon, I'm just going to move on and try and do it all with the little ones. I feel like the little ones might work better. Yeah, Dragnon, it might well manage on a single large. Although, I guess the other upshot, if I did do it off a single large thruster, is that... Eh, is that um, I could then... Let's just copy this and move. I've got a backup. I could then add little one, extra little ones if I need some. So let's try adding a single off the rear here. The other 
question is, do I want it to be up there? I want it, I kind of want it down. Yeah, like that. Well, it does look weird. <laughs> It looks seriously weird. Uh, hold up a second. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Single thrust up. Yeah, Doomhawk, I was having the exact same thing. Thought. Can I get away with it in the middle? Because I spaced the cargo containers apart. Oh, it can't go there. That's the height I'd want it at. That interacts with the cargo containers that has to go up that high. It's pretty high. on earth do I pronounce your name? Yao Yastex? Um, that's difficult. Thanks, man. Um, if you've got a phonetic... <laughs> just text, alright? You can be text too, if uh, text fires around. But otherwise you'll be just text. Because <laughs> that's hard. Thanks, man. Uh, hmm. So I've got... That's all occupied space now, though. Ah, that'd be why, because it's a... Yep, it's an acronym. Thanks, Dark Frost. Yeah, it does look a bit weird, doesn't it? We can thrust a plume coming through the middle of the ship. Yeah, I'm not sold on that concept. I think what I'd have to do if I want to put the thruster in the middle is probably move the cargo container or well, maybe this one move it rearward and then stick it in the middle. Move it back to say here. Let's try this. Oops. Yeah, so it's, if it's sitting there, and then I clear out this middle segment, I'll also be able to shape the armor a little bit around it, which I think will help make it look a little less weird. And I'll be able to drop the thruster lower down, which I think is the biggest help. Like, having the thruster sit down there, that looks a lot better. What do you guys reckon? Oh uh, no, Mackel, I needed to move it too so I could fit the thruster down in the middle of it. Yeah, it's a... I think I can work with this. Um, whereas the previous... this... Yeah, that's gonna look weird. It will be hard to shoot down though. Oh, you were thinking I moved this forward, were you, Mackle? Uh, <laughs> Intramuck, thanks, man. Um, 
happy I was able to drag you into the game and get you started as well. <laughs> yeah, tooth and nail. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how Twitch Prime works, Edramark. Uh, I believe I get a percentage as a subscription fee. Let's have a look at this from the side to see. It does look a little rear heavy now, doesn't it? So maybe it sh maybe I should do what you guys are suggesting and move it all now as it stands, move the whole thing one block forward. So both cargo pods move forward and the thruster. And see if that feels better with the position of the landing legs. Because it does, it does feel quite rear heavy right now. But then I could balance that by having more of the directional thrusters located here. Um, I'm going to continue on with this as the design and see where things go. Let's see how it ends up. See if it ends up somewhere that I'm happy with. Because I think it could. And let's go with that. And oop. Which block is that? Nope. I don't think so, Dragon. I don't think we'll see more armor shapes, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't feel like Keen's all that likely to release official vanilla ones that are that shape. Ah, uh, yes. I'm guilty for making someone build a PC. That's me. I mean, these days you could buy an Xbox and, and, I stress the and, buy a keyboard and mouse to go with it. Because playing with a controller is difficult. Yeah, people are... People are crazy generous at times like this. Um, it's really unfortunate. Being in Australia, a lot of the... Um, a lot of the charitable donation integration for Twitch and YouTube isn't available here. Um, I think it probably has something to do with our tax laws and whatnot. Um, but they haven't set them up. So there, there's some really easy integration for some North American charities that you can do on YouTube. But... I don't have access to them. So much as I'd like to do something along those lines, I can't. Oh uh, yeah, Miramo is not on. Thank you. Um, because it'd be probably better if people were directing that generosity towards places where it would really help at the moment. So I know there are many places that are very much struggling. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for watching me struggle to design a ship. I was wondering why I had to do that, redo this bit on this side. Stupid splitsy. Getting things. That'll mean... Oh! This thing is not coming together as easily and quickly as I'd hoped it would.
Hmm. Uh, no, I won't be putting a reactor on this one. This one's atmospheric, which means no reactors, no ion thrusters, and none of the goodies that you would only get once you get to space. Uh, into darkness, I... My design process for ships. Usually, I have a concept of what I want the ship to do. And then I have a rough shape. I start shaping um, around that concept. Sometimes with just cubes. I just lay out the rough shape with cubes. I then, as I go along and struggle with certain parts, I'll move on to something else and come back to it later. And do bits and pieces until the whole thing starts to look like a complete ship and then I'll do a final shaping sort of pass is how it feels like it goes in my head but those of you who've watched me design stuff might have a different perspective on how the actual design work gets done because it could be a bit different because I am guilty of getting sidetracked quite often I've always loved designing stuff, like I I drew and I painted and I did a lot of that stuff as a kid, I've always enjoyed art, so for me this is just getting to do that stuff in a format that I get to explode sometimes too, which is great, so much more fun. Maybe, maybe these should be up front. I can't really put them down the side because I don't have no path. Oh, do I need a path to walk up? I probably don't. I'll probably get away with that. Yeah, and then I can fill in the gaps with batteries. Yeah, Minecraft for grown-ups. See, if I didn't think it would get a massive backlash, I would totally play Minecraft. Because I actually really enjoy playing Minecraft. <laughs> but, but I think a lot of people would be very upset and go, Oh, he's playing Minecraft! So I'm like, oh fine, I won't. Um, but I totally would if, it, if I didn't have to deal with those sorts of comments. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rival AI is out, Emrickless. Uh, <gasps> I get to use the new doors for the first time in one of these. Yeah. Not sure I want to put the door there, but I guess I can do this. It's kind of an interesting shape to the space as you walk in. <laughs> you just blow up cat back in Minecraft and most of us would be happy. Yep. Yep. Uh, I do have... So I've, I've been mentioning this a little bit on Discord, but I do have some plans for playing a different game on my main channel at some point this year. At this stage, the game that is most likely is going to be Kerbal Space Program because I have an idea of how Capac and I can play that together, which is going to be so much fun. I hope. Um, we've never actually tried it, but we'll be doing it multiplayer, and I think it'll be just awesome. Um, so I'm hoping we'll get time to do that at some point in the next few months. Uh, the doors are DLC, but the beauty of the way Sp Akeem treats their DLC is if a mod like Assertive, in uh, a mod like Assertive Cargo Ships or any of the Modular Encounter Spawner or any of the other NPC mods spawns in with DLC, you can still interact with these things, you just can't build them yourself. 
If you wanted to, you could kind of grind them off and merge block monstrosity them onto your builds and get them that way. But they're okay with that. Or they seem to be okay with that. Which I think is... It's good. Because other companies wouldn't be as comfortable with their content being used like that. Oh man. Don't think I'd have gotten away with using uh, any game for any of my uni stuff in the past. <laughs> Although if I'd known Space Engineers as well as I do now, maybe I could have used it for an animation for a talk at some point. That would have been fine. I did, however, show a clip from Weeds once in a... Um, in a talk I did um, that was on adolescent sexuality <laughs> as part of because as you guys know I'm in healthcare so we had to do stuff on psychological development so I did show a clip of that once which was entertaining because it was perfectly suited to what I was talking about yeah the HBO show was it HBO or was it Showtime one of them This is going to be a cargo ship for a set of cargo ships that will hopefully be able to fly on Omicron. I really, really hope it'll be able to. Yes, I am using detachable cargo pods. They... I'm tempted to put some goodies in them. I don't normally put goodies in any of the cargo because the ships themselves give you so many so much in the way of resources that taking the goodies isn't worth it. But I'm thinking in this one because you'll have to figure out how to disarm the detachment system that it might be interesting to put something in. Uh, maybe Dragnon. I'll see how I go once I've shaped it. Because while I'd like to, I feel like I might lose a lot of floor space. And I don't have a lot of floor space to add a thruster up the front here at the moment. Yeah, they're just merge blocked on the... Because this is an assertive cargo ship build, it just has to look like it functions. It doesn't actually have to function. It's all for style. All style, no substance. Which kind of describes a lot of my builds. <laughs> it's, all, it's all about... How it looks, not how it's going to function. Unless it's a crane, in which case, kind of does both. I hope. Yeah, no, I don't want it to respawn. Hit the wrong button. Nope. Nope, nope. I don't like that. That's not what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm going to do there, but... <laughs> yeah, me and cranes. I... You have no idea how much I played with Lego cranes when I was a kid. Space Engine is just letting me live out that dream again as an adult. It's awesome. <laughs> That's why I love playing with cranes. I used to have an attic in the house I grew up in, and I would have a crane that I modified, there was a standard Lego crane which I modified so that it had like a, would have had to have been close to three meters worth of cord on it so that I could crane stuff from the attic uh, up to the attic from the floor below. 
stuff that I was rescuing after it had fallen down. I remember doing stuff like that, because it's just... I love work playing with mechanical stuff. I blame my old man, he's an engineer, so... I probably got a lot of exposure to it early. Uh, Idramak, I didn't, I knew them, well, I had Meccano, or I got exposed to Meccano, which, Meccano bought out Erector. Um, they were two separate companies, uh, Erector started in the States something like 20 years after Meccano. Um, Meccano started in the UK, and Meccano was what was more known in Australia. But yeah, the one with the bolts and the nuts, and you actually made stuff out of metal. That's why I want to play around with some Lego Technic stuff, because I reckon that'll be great fun too. trucks. Still play with those with my nephews. Kind of works. This is the thing that upsets me about these thrusters, though. They really should, I think, have allowed you to place blocks in this space. They shouldn't have made that model just have that tiny little lip, because if you'd be if you were able to place stuff up here, you could make the des you could design around them so much better. Jeez, Dragnaut, <laughs> that's not ideal. <laughs> Cutting your sister up with a weed whipper from a rector set. <laughs> a little less than optimal. I'm sure your parents weren't pleased. Kids can't be trusted with such things. They do tend to take it a little bit too far. I'm amazed that none of my brothers and I ended up losing any eyes with the stuff we played with as kids. Uh, which I won't describe on here because it may get me demonetized when this gets uploaded to YouTube. <laughs> uh, Dragon, I have several siblings. I'm the youngest of five. Apparently my parents didn't know that TV was a thing. Hmm. Uh, Teddy Bear, designing another assertive cargo ships build. First one I've done in from scratch in a while. Yeah, Miracle, I'm kind of the same on Station Ears in that way. The system design stuff is great fun, but there, there isn't anything more to it yet. Um, I'm hoping one day there will be. But as it stands at the moment, there's there's nothing really much beyond that. However, I've not really gotten to the point where I've exhausted that aspect of the game. At this stage, so... I've still got plenty more to entertain myself with. Uh, 
Uh, the other builds are some other cargo ships that I've been working on. I can't remember if I... Do you guys remember, did I actually add this one to a set of cargo ships last time? Those of you who've watched that stream, I think I have. Because it's got the right antenna tag name. Uh, this was one of the ones that was submitted. There's only... This is the very last from the original batch, which I need to work over and add to the mod. Everything else, all of the other original batch have been done, and then I can start working my way down the list. What did you think of Frostbite Tex? I thought it was pretty good. Probably because Capac really enjoyed himself. And when he enjoys himself playing Space Engineers, that just makes me happy because that means I can drag him along to more things in it. Because <laughs> Space Engineers on the surface of things is not a Capac game. Ah yes, I'm sure there will be a part 3 soon. I'm sure I will get around to editing that. It's actually been a pleasure editing that stream down. Um, it's just been kind of fun and easy to do. I uh, haven't seen that, Mackel, no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, swing sets in high schools, damn it, you say. Swings are fun, but should they have them in high school? I can see that going wrong somehow. But maybe that's just me. How am I liking the shape of this in general? Am I in creative mode tools or am I in creative? I think I'm creative creative. So those bat yeah, I am. This should fly. Ball pits at work. <laughs> yeah, Chris, <man. laughs> I think. to move these thrusters back. That looks a bit better. It was just feeling a bit... I actually don't have a term for it. It was feeling like the cargo container was kind of hanging off the back. Yes, I, I agree, Idramuk. The most accurate cartoon comparison of Capac and I is Pinky and the Brain. And I, I realize how insulting that is to me. Because <laughs> my memories of Pinky and the Brain was that... Brain was evil and smart. Pinky was lazy but smarter. Which is disturbingly accurate as a description of Capac and I.
better or worse? I think that's worse. Oops. My dad late. I don't know what I just deleted. Before the bits I meant to. Oops. I don't know how to attach these legs, and this is something that always bugs me. Like, if I was designing this on paper and just drawing it out, these legs would come in at a nice shallow angle and go out in two different directions, but I can't do that in Space Engineers. What I think I might do... Is I might actually... Maybe I should bring them in a block. Although then, these will stick out. Then I can probably bring them in as well. Uh, no rotors. Not using subgrids on these, because it just goes wrong. Could you turn the angle down 90 degrees? exactly sure what you mean. I do have... What if I do this? Also, for those of you wondering, the Pinky of the Brain theme song is running round in circles in my head right now. So thanks for that. <laughs> Damn you! Bring it up, Pinky! link this up somewhere. Boom, boom. Get rid of those. What if we use a couple of extra reverse thrusters as the link? Because they've got a bit of shape to them, it then subtly or not so subtly hides the fact that this sh we don't have the shapes we need. That's so true. I didn't think about that. Kavak does all quite frequently start streams off with, so what are we doing today? Even even though uh, some of it he's got to be doing for performance reasons because I usually have literally just told him about it and said, we're doing this thing. Um, I think he sometimes does it, and I know Shaq sometimes does this just so that as a reminder to explain to the audience what's going on. Um, but then sometimes Capac just hasn't paid attention to me because he's decided it would be fun to ignore and annoy me. Yes, torment you. He does love it. Uh. Capac's very, very good at getting his own back against me for the trouble I give him. Uh, 
it is 3.30 in the afternoon for me here at Heverett. Yeah, TWA, um, I just thought of that then, I was like, ooh, this will look like a little bit of an intake for the thruster. But it also hides the thruster from most angles, which is kind of cool. Thought it'd be something different. I might use it in more builds. Now, am I okay with those legs? I may have to just be okay with those legs as they are. The only other thing I can think of doing, which I should probably do, is grab that out from there and turn it into an inverted corner. Uh, Michael, I'm not sure. You can work it out if you use a little bit of maths. Because if you're thinking about how much is the max weight that any of these thrusters can take, it'll be dependent on their max thrust. So optimal max thrust of 6.48 mega newtons. Um, you can calculate that using the F equals MA equation. But for a an autopiloted ship, you need excessive thrust. When you say how would it look with a vent, do you mean this? I think that's I think that's a cool look. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I said Ellis. <laughs> One thing that doesn't ever need excessive thrust is Capac. Uh, Capac with an overthrusting ship. That is always a, ter a terrifying sight to behold. So. I was just looking at this and realizing that it was still a bit front, uh, still a bit rear heavy. And I was also thinking about the size and space I've got to work with to make a roof that's designed nice with some greebling and stuff like that. And then I realized the only way I was going to be able to do all the things I wanted to do was have two layers of armor, which is why I brought that bit up. I just thought, given a couple of people who asked me about my design methodology, I thought I'd try and explain how I came to the decision of adding that bit there and realizing that it will probably look better because of it. Like if you look at this from the side, I think weight wise, this in terms of visual weight, this looks a lot more balanced with that extra chunky bit up there. Plus it should make making the glass for the cockpit a little bit easier too. Uh I think if I use a 2 by one base here... Oh, actually... Yeah, that's... Not too obvious that it's cutting it in half. That's what I was worried about. I was worried a 2 by one base here for the intake would actually look like it's... Um, gonna cut it in half. Yes, it does have a bulldog shape. <laughs> this does look like a bulldog! <laughs> All it needs is those front two legs to be pigeon-toed in. <laughs> and that'll be a full-on bulldog. I think we got the name for this ship, though. It is the bulldog. <laughs> Make the ears out of Antony. Wait, hold up. Does anyone know where the big satellite dish is in this thing? 
Because the dishes are, is part of the DLC blocks, isn't it? We're supposed to have access? Under antennas. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't think I'm going to use this. I just haven't had a proper look at it. So I kind of want to. Now that I'm slightly distracted. Oh, wow. It's... Okay, so they made all of the extra supporting things for it. I didn't look at it closely when we were playing Frost Frostbite. Huh. Well, I'm not going to be using that on this build, but there are some others that I could. Interesting. You may well see one of those being used in Survival Impossible at some point. That is certainly a thing that might happen. Capac making a Death Star. Do you guys really believe Capac has the um, focus to build a whole Death Star? At best, he'd get like a, a New Hope Death Star that's half built. I mean, not New Hope, like the Return of the Jedi that's half built. Oh crap! Dang it! Uh, you make a good point. He might do it just to prove me wrong. That is a capac thing to do. Although... Actually, no, I take that back about Capac. I, I completely take that back. Capac has made an enterprise in Space Engineers that is actually pretty cool. Um, he found mods that worked for it. He did all that sort of stuff, and he did it all himself. I didn't do any of it. So maybe, maybe he would have the tenacity to actually put that together. He might do. Uh, Idramark, I'm not sure. <laughs> he used it in one of his... Oh, what does Capac call his, his Captain's Log videos on his channel? Um, I think that's what he used it for, and that's what he made it for. It was entirely for the use for a, a rather extended gag that he put together. For the ever-present challenge in Space Engineers. How do you make a cockpit out of the glass blocks that we have access to without it looking terrible? on that bit. Is it obvious? Yes, it is. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna box it in and then have a think about what, like how bad it looks boxed in. And then I'll think about how I'm gonna use armor shapes to create the look that I'm after. Yeah, a window in here would probably help, but then I'm not sure how that's going to look against that door. Which is why I didn't do it. But I suppose I could put a window in there. Nah, I'm going to leave that armor. That's going to stay as armor. But I could do something like this, which I've done on some of the other builds, to add a little bit of detail. The custom DLC window box. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah, I agree. This is quite square and I don't really want it this square <laughs> even if I don't use your ideas from chat um, throwing ideas at me when I'm doing these designs is always appreciated um, there's a reason I like doing these builds with you guys because I come up with something so much better than I normally would yeah that's actually a good point Mackle probably should do that anyway it's not so noticeable at a distance but I think up close it kind of works plus it looks interesting looking out through it one thing I've decided I, li I quite like with windows is covering up small segments of them with armor to kind of break them up a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm very lucky. Uh, we all get tired of the bricks we build. I know I get tired of when I end up building bricks. Let me do this. Which is often my way of getting around uh, yeah, I was kind of planning on putting glass in the roof. I might do. Get rid of those. Throw more pieces of glass on the ground. What if I go with that? What do you guys think? See you, Demon Lord. Yeah, so the reason I replaced the 2x1 tips with these 45 degree angle ones was so I could do this in the middle. Actually, I don't need to do that one that way. I can have it as a... So that I could put that 45 degree angle one in the middle there. That's why I decided to do that. It does have a bit of that small green industrial cockpit feel. And then from the inside, obviously I'm going to... Uh, Filling this in with the necessary blocks. Is 
So we got a fully sealed cockpit. Let's have a look at this from inside. And then what I'm hoping I've left room for is for this. So yes, I have. Perfect. There we go. That's not a bad view. I think the I think the windows did mirror properly. They all look right from here. Let's have a look outside. Yeah, that's all tinted. And that's all tinted. Yeah, there's an offset here because some of the windows are inside, some of them are outside. Um, actually, that does raise an interesting question. How... I wasn't thinking I would do the LCDs, but... A clear LCD could be interesting here. Because if I have the clear LCD on the inside of that frame, on both sides, I could put some something decorative up there. And because it's clear right through, I can then put the tinted glass behind it. Making that all match up a bit more nicely. Though, I don't recall. I didn't look when I just did it then. PC of 50. Okay, that's not too bad. What's bugging you about the side DLC windows? I like them. Oh, they didn't mirror. I see what you mean. Uh -huh. Actually... Yeah. <laughs> Is that better, teddy bear? <laughs> there we go. Fixed. I kind of like having the angle top and bottom. I think it looks nicer for something that moves. For a static base, I prefer having them on the same side or if I was kind of going away from a midline I'd do them this way because I think it adds some interest what could I put on here that would be interesting maybe script could put a faction icon but there won't be one Analog clock. Hmm. I uh, can't put a slope on the inside of the window if you're talking about this bit, because uh, this is sloped on the outside. Make any difference with the picture, or is the picture just always bright? I think the picture is always 
Not too bright. Yeah, that looks a bit more interesting. I think I'll do that one. Yeah, I had the same feeling as you guys that, that, that the windows do have that kind of Stargate-esque feel to them. Yeah. A little bit of detail. Uh, the assertive faction does not have a symbol. I don't know how to add symbols. And I don't even know how to... And I definitely don't know how to add them to the assertive faction. Um, if there's a way to do it and someone could teach me, that would be amazing. Because, um, yeah, I would totally put the assertive faction on those LCDs. I'm faking it. I'm gonna put a proper vent there. There we go. I now have this much room to turn into an interior space. That's gonna be fun. So that is a tight space. This thing's pretty zippy, though. Uh, Teddy Bear, I'll, so the community build stuff is challenging. <laughs> um, you can't have people on a server because there will be someone who messes stuff up and in creative mode and just decides to crash your server. There is always that person. Um, so you can't do it. And then, which is why I've gone more for the let's have people submit build designs, which I'll then bring to a more cohesive design style for the mod. Hey, I wasn't... Uh, this is... This has been nicknamed the Bulldog at this point. Because it's got that kind of front-heavy stance. <laughs> I'm not giving it a muzzle. It's not happening. <laughs> if it was Capac, he would. But this is me. I have some dignity. <laughs> Plus, I'm not as good at um, pixel art as he is. I think I could probably bring that thruster in, can't I? Does it need to be out there? I don't think it does. I think it look, would look better if I brought it in. Capac's Egyptian was cool. Um, yeah. That was one epic surprise he got me with there. Okay. 
works. And because of the way these work in Space Engineers, you probably won't be able to reach those. I could. I wonder how to look if this is hanging down. Nah. I'll just leave it flat. Oh, that obstacle force was, course was so much fun to run. I still need to um, load up a session where I get a few people in and uh, let them run it with their own versions of weirdly designed humanoid stuff. Uh, yeah, I should have had mirror mode on when I did that, but I'm about to start designing interiors and I don't use mirror for that. Better? Worse? Better? I think. I think. Now, for the fun part, and I do mean fun, because I do like interior design with this stuff. Oh, it's unfortunate. I really like this open space. I'm about to make it all closed. Oh! Thank you, Dragon. I forgot down thrust and... I think I have a perfect location for it. Oh no, there's a birch block there. No. <laughs> I do not have the perfect location for it. Damn you. Foiled. Might have to put it here. Uh, why? Why? under here. Merge block. Battery. Okay, so far, which of the two do you think is the better look? I'm kind of leaning towards the rear. Because I can't do anything about that square edge there. I suppose I could put it down here. Well, it's hidden there. You can only see it from on top. Instead of a battery though here, I should probably put the remote control. I've got a remote control on these hot bars. Surely I've got it somewhere. There. Uh, I don't know if it's got enough battery power, so I'm going to do that. Such a pity we can't just slap a vent across there. 
upgraded catwalk, I mean. I'm in creative mode, so I don't actually know how long, how much thrust this has. Like how much battery power this has. Because the batteries get instantly recharged. Or virtually instantly. I'll have to load it into survival mode to test. That's pro that's gonna be enough battery power. So how many batteries have I gotten on here? Let's have a look. Four. Ooh. Maybe I don't have enough. Four should be enough though, right? It's only got to fly across the sky once. Right, six it is. That's plenty. They, these, uh, Bilbo, these ships only need to live long enough to do their trip once, and then they get to disappear. That's it. So, like, they don't, they don't have to do too much, really. But I wanted enough power that they're comfortably able to do those things. I don't know how the, um... <laughs> this, this bulldog will get teeth. I don't know how I'm going to do this living space, but... Perhaps the comment earlier about making stuff up on the upper level might be the way to get to keep this space feeling open uh, while also getting the necessary parts that I wanted in. our bathroom up there then I can put sliding door then graded catwalk another graded catwalk and a bed And then I can put a stair in here. Like that. That gives me sleeping quarters, bathroom. Just need to work out lighting for this space, which is always a bit challenging. Ah, Dragnon, the reason I use these sliding doors is I needed a floor. I don't want to occupy this 
the, I've got this block occupied with the vent, so I'd need it. I need it for a floor. So it's kind of stuck with that as the only real option. That's why I tend to use these sliding doors so much because they have an inbuilt floor, and so it's a kind of contained cube that you can take advantage of for the various things you need. This is kind of irking me designing with this not level to gravity. Um, what could I do to make it so I can put a light somewhere here? I think I may have to just go with corner light up here. And yeah, I think I think you're right, Tex. I think having them, the lights underneath and just bleeding through is probably the only real option. Let's move it to night time. Uh, let's do my use. Taking a little bit of that white out of the light. Oops. Yeah. Now let's look inside the bathroom. That actually... Huh. That almost works. Like, the lighting is almost the right direction for these overhead lights. Cool. I'm stoked with that. Cannot complain. Yeah, it really does make them look right. I've got to remember this, that if I put corner lights on both sides just high enough, the... The lighting directions look believable, which is really cool because it always upsets me that those lights are a bit funny. All right, now we just need a bit of... Well, it's only one person aboard this ship according to the bedding conditions, so... I think what I might do... Yeah, I suppose it could be two crew with a hot bed. That's that's a fair point. Um, Trying to decide what to do with the kitchen and the couch now. Because every ship needs a kitchen, a galley. <laughs> Make it a day trip ship so I only have a vending machine. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could do that. Yeah, you certainly could say that it doesn't need a door on both sides. Um, 
because it could get rid of one of them. Would free up some PCU and it would free up some space under here that I could possibly put a second bed in there. Or, 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 I could do that as a variant. And then I've got two different variants of this this design. I should do that. Um, let's copy this since it's pretty much ready. Total PCU 2000. Nice. Plenty of room for guns. Yeah, non-functional decorative blocks being able to compound block would be a big step in the right direction. Hey, that's a good thought, Dragnon. Replacing the vent with a locker. In fact, I might do it on both, to be honest. The, the uh... I mean, you could even put the kitchen in there. Which bit's the locker under this? This one is under. I mean, you could even... I think we're going to leave this one bent. Oh yeah, that vent is purely cosmetic. <laughs> No, teddy bear maybe you want some sleep at 6 a.m <laughs> maybe that's something you want at this hour, at that hour of the day uh, just one second guys oh what have i done That's okay. That's okay. Hmm. I think the kitchen's a problem. Let's get rid of the kitchen the way it is. It doesn't work. Right. Uh, with... I realise this looks funny with this space in front of the table, but there's not much... Oh, no. no I was very stuck. There's not much I can do about that. I think it's probably the best space for those two chairs. I mean, unless I did... That. Hmm. Maybe I could... Place the... Kitchen at the bottom of the stairs? Yeah, no. It's these half, these windows, because they don't come out the full width, because I wanted them on the other side. I can't put things butting up against them.
might probably go with that and then with the stacked up one underneath the stairs. Yeah, now remember, I still have to paint this. So there's going to be a bit more interest introduced with the paint. Oh yeah, add Dharma. <laughs> That's a good point. And test it on Omicron. Um, yeah, I could put an armory there. Hold up. Oh, it's only got the one side entrance and it doesn't have a floor. Well, it does have a floor, but it's only got one, one entrance. It's a pity. Ooh. I might. Get rid of the bed. An armory there. Pop a bed. There. Oh, no, I can't do that because of the light. I'll have to get, I'd have to get rid of this light, which then I have no room to place anywhere. No. Nope, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. So many iterations you can come up with for this stuff. Uh, I was thinking sensor for dropping the cargo. Uh, mackerel, the walls are 45 degree slopes, so I can't put anything in them. It'll stick out funnily on the side. I'm actually fairly happy with this, I think. It's only be if there are a couple of other detail blocks I want to put in. Uh, I think having the floor nice and clear is the right move. I don't think this is the kind of ship that would have planters in it. More science stuff aboard. Don't think we need any more couches. There's one. Yeah. I'm happy with this space for now. Oops. Caps lock, sorry. Yeah, good point. I could sacrifice the battery. I don't need... I could go down to five instead of... Uh-oh. Six. So I could do that. And then have my grate. Nice! Yeah. That works really well. Um, it might be airtight. I don't actually know. I'm not too worried about whether it will or won't be, since I'm not going to attach a hydrogen oxygen system up to it to pressurize it. Um, one of the things to keep down on PCU, so that people on lower end systems can play with the Assertive Cargo Ships mod, is... I wanted to keep the PCU down, and one of the things to do that is just to make things look the part, not actually function right. Uh, the bathroom is probably airtight, because it's just these two blocks and the door. So you could suffocate in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know, maybe you would want would want Capac to suffocate in the bathroom. Do I even need more light? I kind of think it should be minimal lighting. much prefer this look with the background transparent or dark. Oh, got two more screens to do. turret in here would have to stick to the glass. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I guess I'll stick it there. I could stick one on the floor. <laughs> or on the bed! do I have? Ah. There we go. That seems like a valid option. <laughs> I like it. Don't think that needs to target out to very far. Yeah, I suppose I could attach it to this grating, but then I think it looks a bit funny. Maybe this one won't have an interior turret, because it does look a bit out of place there. Like, it's right in the way. The only other spot that would make sense would be if I get rid of that and I stuck it there. So I suppose it doesn't look too bad from above. Uh, there's no room on the roof at the LCDs. The LCD is actually occupying this block on the inside. So there's no space there. Uh, why not on the floor? Dang it, people, stop suggesting sensible things to me. It means I have to fix stuff. Uh, this is glass on the inside too, so there's no space anywhere there. This is all occupied. <laughs> uh, that is very much a joke. Keep suggesting sensible things. Keep me, keep keeping me in check. Right. We have internal defense. Let's get some daylight. Yeah, where can I stick some big turrets? Oh, yeah. 
that works quite well. And that should do. A lot of angles that's blocked from, which is good, because this is meant to be an easy one. So this is for people early on in their game to face. Uh, and perhaps one out there. Yeah. And one out there. So there should be angles you can approach without getting peppered with bullets. I've got to decide on some colouring. I might paste a whole bunch of them in and just paint them all one colour and see what works. And then do some detail. So that I get a few different colour designs. Oh, there's no room behind that vent. Behind the vent is battery and then merge block. Speaking of merge block, I need a sensor. Shall I sneak the sensor? It's friendly off. Oh no, off. Players and small ships. Um, do, 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 do. Set up actions. Oh, hang on. I need to name those merge blocks so I know which are uh, which. Oh yeah, maybe I should make it so that it, um, there's a thruster override for a couple of the thrusters. Also, it drops the cut. Oh, that's a bit more evil. I like that thought. Uh, what I'm thinking is sensor setup actions. So it'll turn. One of them's going to turn off cargo front, toggle block off, and then it's going to turn override controls on. other one is going to do the rear cargo toggle block off and this could cause it to drop out of the sky Uh, I'm, after Keen broke groups during survival maybe, I'm reticent to use groups in blueprints. Uh, I tend to be worried that it's all going to break and I'll have to deal with that later. So I couldn't use one sensor to drop and one to override because it'd be drop on entry for one of the sensor for one of the things and then drop on exit for the other because that's the way the sensors work in their two slots. Um... So that wouldn't really work. Now, let's 
copy this and see what happens. If I find out which gyroscope I just did that sensor on. Yeah, I'd like to use a block group. I'm just always a bit reticent to these days. Okay. I'm far enough away now. Shift K. I'm not broadcasting. Terminal. Sensors. Let's make the sensors detect me. Right, let's see what happens. Well, one of them worked. left a block there that's attached to the cargo container. That would explain the problem. See ya, Mackel. Get some sleep, man. It's been sounding like you very much are in, um, are in need of it. That one should drop now, since I messed that up. Uh, what's the point of spinning around like that? It'd be really annoying when you're trying to capture it. <laughs> so if you get killed while you're on board, having set off one of the timers, you'll then get killed, respawn, and you'll come back to the thing spinning and falling out of the sky. That's the point of that. I'm a horrible person and I should feel bad because I like to do stuff that's mean. Yeah, Dragnon, that's exactly right. The way that Capac and I die when the orc ships spin like crazy. Yeah, roll never seems to be quite as powerful. That's why I thought I'd go with the uh, spin. Plus, it kind of looked cool as it was spinning, doing a death spin as it went to the ground. Uh, they should probably have water lock off. Otherwise, they'll be able to be taken advantage of. Oh yeah, VLOD, ACS is Assertive Cargo Ships. It's the mod that I've made that adds a bunch of ships to the cargo ships that you can fight that send drones at you and things. <laughs> no, Rick Blood, that would be kind of funny to stick a clanging grid in that you weld in place um, unfortunately you can't really do that because you can't project a subgrid that would clang and cause that so you're kind of stuck you'd have to 
have the subgrid and then draw it back into position where it clangs. Oh yeah, what's the exploit, Eisen? Because if it's not too bad, I'm kind of happy. Uh, the mod is ever-growing. It is complete, but it's ever-growing. I don't intend to ever stop adding stuff to the assertive mods. I just intend to grow them and refine them and develop them over time. Hmm. That's a good point, Eisen. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have those overrides. Maybe I'll just have the... That is a good point. If you buzz the tower with your suit, the thing will just spin and crash out of the sky. Which will get you some loot, but not much, but it'll get you some, so I should probably turn off those bits. Good point. Good point, well made. Yeah, Azrael, I'd need a timer block to trigger the override fast enough. Because the block needs to be on, but then I'd need to set the override to maximum in one hit. Which means I'd have to add a timer block, but I don't really want to. Yeah, I could probably make this leg it once it drops the cargo using Rival AI once I set it up with that. So we should be able to use Rival AI to take control of the extra flight stuff. So I may just leave it with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm... It's totally different to all the other designs. It's totally different to anything I've ever built. Which is cool. I'm pleased. Need to put some ammo in each of the guns and set each of them up. I'm turning off idle movement because I know it'll mess with Capac. Yeah, there's so many scripting possibilities with Rival AI in terms of behaviours you can have occur when the player does certain things. You can have player you can have behaviours that occur only when the player damages the grid. So sure, let it fly close, but as soon as the player damages this grid, then it'll drop the cargo and run. Uh, Marcus, there's a whole list of my rules for setting up these ships on the Discord server. Uh, it's pinned to the top of the Assertive Cargo Ships channel, which is where people are submitting the ships for modification. And occasionally I decide I want to make one of my own from scratch, which is what I did today. Right, paint job. Because we've now got ammo in all the guns. And then this is ready to go. I'm going to... Delete the other ones around here. And then I'm going to paint. Ah, uh, yes. Move to Survivor World and test it on Omicron before I start painting. That is a good point. Would help if I, um, blueprinted it first so that I could paste it into the Omicron world. <laughs> uh, dang it. Oh, Dragnon, I'm so excited for... Rival AI. Seriously excited for what I can do with it. Some of the stuff that seemed possible when Lucas was descri Lucas was running me through it. Seriously cool. 
very, very, very cool. Thanks, Janem. Uh, Norik Blah, you might be able to set up things that break up into more chunks, but I think I think that would be quite challenging. Ah, uh, yeah, Eisen, the mo motion influence turret doesn't work right now, apparently. It's one of the things that... Oh, unless Lucas has fixed it. But I don't think he's fixed it yet. It was one of the things that was broken with the latest update. And apparently Windows uh, Space Engineers has decided to freeze. Well, bang. Get your... Hmm. Time to kill Space Engineers. Because it has crashed. Uh, Fluffy Bullet, I don't know when the next Top Engineer will happen. Um, we were delayed a couple of weeks because Shaq was moving house, and then we were supposed to do it last, like this week, just passed. However, I got urgently called into work because of sick leave related to COVID. Um, so I had no... I couldn't come along to the stream, so we had to put it off. Um, so I'm not sure when the next one will be. Could be this week, but I'm, I'm not confident. Because it'll be up to the other two as well, and whether I have to go in. Let's see how well this thing flies Critical. on Omicron. Does that Energy don't fly? Critical. No energy. Alright, let's see here we go. Ah, uh, no, Spizzer, I'm not a paramedic. I work in a hospital. But I, other than telling people I'm a healthcare worker, I'm kind of keeping the rest of it to myself. <laughs> rather than getting too much into specifics about a job that takes up more of my time than I would like it. She flies, and she flies fairly well. Plenty of fuel. Uh, yeah, Dragnon, but remember, I don't put... Oh, yeah, I was going to put some goodies in these, wasn't I? I might put, just put some, like, med kits and that sort of stuff. No, no comment on the Merce. I don't want to put anything too heavy, Grozov. Uh, if I put ice in them, it may be too heavy for this thing to be able to fly on Omicron. And I really, really, really want some other cargo ships that can spawn in Survival Impossible. Yeah, that's true. The legs could can see, could have a couple. The rear legs could have a couple of lifting thrusters or something. Need some more. Just want to see if this thing flies proper altitudes. I'll need to add this to the test mod, I think. To 
really be confident, but at least this is a really good sign. I don't think I want to repeat that comment, but that's pretty funny. I have very nice ankles, thank you very much. <laughs> They're just hairy. So I don't know that I've been a... <laughs> I don't want to say it. I'm not going to say it. Uh... For those of you watching the VOD, just let your imaginations run wild as to what Isaac might have said there. Yeah, this is this is proper success, Dragon. I'm really surprised. I normally end up going, ooh, I need an extra two thrusters. No, an extra four. No, an extra six. <sighs> and we gotta make it over the mountain. going down no no away from the mountainside this is not good at what point will it stop sinking Yeah, educated attack, that's kind of the idea. Um, if you attack this from the wrong way, which is the easiest way to attack it, you'll also lose most of the good stuff. Um, which makes it kind of fun. Fuel uh, critical. I think she's going to need a couple of extra thrusters for safety. Let's just see what happens if I add some Atmo thrusters out on these legs. Um... Just buy a pair. Will that be enough to get us further up? That's actually a fair point. You could put the thrusters on the cargo pods. wouldn't be that ridiculous because then the cargo pods are sort of, you could argue it's sort of like a safety device from a roleplay standpoint. And yeah, again, it could be part of the loot as in it could be, if you let those things hit the ground, they're going to go down hard and you lose more of the thrusters. Because it looks like those extra thrusters are what's needed here to give this the ability to fly as high as I need it to. Because what I've found is that if they can't fly to the top of these hill, these mountains, um, you probably can't have it run as a cargo ship. Because the cargo ship really needs to be able to fly at su surprisingly high altitude. Yeah, you would, dumb man, but um, you would need power on the things. But that's kind of the idea is if I put the thrusters here and here with, say, uh, well, that doesn't look right. Like a little bit of armor on there and put another pair on the rear as well that's going to give me a whole lot of extra thrust and when I detach those merge blocks as in if you're approaching and they drop off that's going to 
basically leave you with very little loot because those thrusters will get destroyed as well. And I think what I will also need to do is I need to reduce the sensor field range. I need some I need to give people some way of getting into this thing. Uh, yeah, Paul, this is actually Omicron. This is the planet from Survival Impossible. So this is 1.9 Gs. It's even higher than the alien planet's 1.1. Um, and I'm wanting this cargo ship to be capable in Omicron. And it will need to potentially fly up this high. Because like, at the moment, we only really see three ships. And they're all ones I've designed. Um, you've got... Um, the ladybugs you've got the the other ones the panini sidecar and the is it third hmm can't think of what the third one is but basically it's hard to design around needing to deal with such high g's without giving the ship a huge amount of loot uh, so it's a, it's a tough thing to balance. And when I'm messing with someone else's design, I find it even harder because I don't want to ruin their design. Which is why this one was sort of built around that central big thruster. Uh, no, the Manta and Mantis can't. They've got lots of armor, so they're quite heavy. Eisen. Yeah, Dragnon, Exactly. The power creep does get challenging to mitigate when it going risk versus reward. I think that's probably the way to go, get rid of those. And that'll give it plenty of thrust. Looks relatively neat. And if you get too close, you're going to set off the sensors and you're going to lose the cargo. Uh, show on hunt. Yeah, that's way too much area. Wait, what? Do I not have... Oh, I don't have build vision on this one. Great. I'm going to have to go back to... the other save. Uh, educated attack, I lowered it for the mod itself, so if you're using my mod, um, you will get them at the same range as me. It's no different. Unless you're at the higher level difficulties, in which case, well, they're the higher difficulty ones, they will send drones out to you sooner. So if you're seeing them at 7Ks, whereas I'm seeing them much closer, it's because you've got more stuff. You're a greater threat. Because uh, they have a threat score calculation that they use to send to decide what they send at you. And which version of the ship's spawn. Uh, if you manage to hit the sensors on this and not anything else, that is the optimum way to take this over. Because you'll lose the sensors, which means you'll be safe to attack without the merge blocks dropping off. I don't know what's going to happen if you lose power, though. Merge blocks don't require power, so they should remain attached. Yeah, just search me. I am Splitzy in all the places that matter to me. Just Splitzy. Somehow, Teenage Me managed to pick a name that actually stayed fairly unique. What am I adjusting right now? Why can I not see that? Oh, because I'm adjusting the wrong one. That's why. Derp. 
Yeah. This is... <laughs> uh, this is one of the downsides of the control key when you're in spectator. Makes the spinning quite dramatic. And this... Pressing shift while I adjust this does it as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you could argue, uh... Flipsy uh, would work too. Uh, what what do you mean, Tinham? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Yes, Capac does have some things where he has the alternate view, uh, but any of the edited stuff, uh, it's all just combined in one. Don't think we'll ever see him editing multi-perspective stuff for his channel, though. He's just not as into editing as I am. Uh, all that stuff's going to change, Tinham, all the setting up your own channel on Twitch thing. I honestly don't know how it's going to change, because I haven't looked at the new stuff. Um, but it may be affiliate or partner only, some of the stuff. I honestly don't know how Twitch decides it all. I am the last person you should ask about advice on Twitch, because I don't take it. I don't look into that stuff, because I don't like a lot of it. As you may notice, I don't even have any of the emote stuff. Or maybe I will at some point. Um, Dumb man, it's meant to make your world feel more alive. That's what these ships are for. Uh, I don't necessarily think of it about in terms of is the player meant to get loot? Is the player meant to harass this thing? What's meant to go on? Most of my stuff is meant to harass the player more than anything else and just make it feel like they're building with defences actually has purpose. I think I've done the turrets in Mario, but I'll check again before I consider things done. Probably about right. Let's get these down. I'm deliberately making the two slightly different. Makes it a little less obvious what you've done. Oops. Let's just check all the guns while I'm at it. Pretty sure I did them all. Shoop. Yep. All good. Cool. Yeah. A little bit of loot. What do we got? Let's give some clan cola. Some... Med kits. And. Yeah. I'll do. Then. This one. Do something similar, except. Just a bunch of cosmic coffee, and then some power kits. It's a little bit of loot. Nothing too exciting, but still something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Definitely don't play with all the assertive mods unless you're up for a challenge. I am very stingy with the loot. Because the ship itself is so much loot. There's so much material in all the ships in Space Engineers. Like, you can't give loot as well as the ship that you get to grind down. Um, as soon as you do that, you destroy the whole survival aspect just with a few ships from the mods. So, uh, once I start understanding rival AI, you're going to see some of these ships just disintegrate and things like that. Uh, there'll be other things I try and use and Lucas and I have talked about possibility of having AI components, uh, AI ships, basically they don't give you as much stuff back. You can grind your own stuff just fine, but anything owned by the NPCs, you don't get as much stuff. And then if, we, if I end up going that route, then I'll put loot on board. Because then you won't get stuff from the ship, you'll just be taking its cargo. And then it's more like what you imagine this sort of thing to be um because the way space engineers is what you really get is all of the components from this ship that don't get destroyed during the battle uh, no contents Azrael, but i have submissions that people have given me and i'm slowly working my way through them i think i've got about a hundred still to go i've got quite a few quite a few <laughs> However, I mean, yeah, Epic Beard, it's pretty hard to start out um, with this, all the assertive mods, but I've tried to balance that a bit better. And if you're in a mountainous area, it's certainly balanced enough. Uh, Toothnail, I'm going to modify the existing ones for Rival AI, because I want... Yes, Rival AI is on, on the workshop. I want this... I want the assertive mods to be more than what they are. Um... And I don't see... I don't see much benefit in adding constant extra mods. Lots of people are already, are already subscribed to the assertive mods, so why not give all those people that already use them a better experience? Um, rather than making them download another mod. And then having to choose, and then some worlds having an... Uh, I think I'm just going to keep improving it over time. Because so I think at last check, there was something more than 10,000 people subscribed to each of the assertive mods. The only reason that when Pav worked on a bunch of underground bases, I did that as a separate bod, why there's assertive bunkers, is again for people with lower end systems, so that I wasn't smashing their system with voxel deformations, because those underground bases do mess with your voxels. Now, what armor type to use? Don't think I'm going to use Disco, don't think I'm going to use Rusty... I'll leave it blank for now. Color. And remember, I'm not painting it all just uniform color. I am thinking... Uh, main color? Bulk color? Let's try saturation down, vibrance down. And then bring some gray in. Uh, so let's go. Where's my painting tool? Predominantly grey with green highlights might 
look interesting. Especially since I tend to go for more overstated colours on the Assertive Cargo Ships builds than understated like this. So it could be nice to do something a little bit more subdued. Uh, yeah, I've heard some people say that they were having issues with the paint tool not working. I suspect there are some other mods making the paint tool not work. But one of the things that I have heard, and where have I got a Glock that I might not be able to normally access, was that some people were having trouble accessing like blocks that were deeper into their builds. Uh, but I don't seem to have issues with that either, so I suspect there's another mod that's breaking the paint tool, and it's not actually vanilla that's breaking it. I might need to do something in that hole. That's the top merge block, right? Yeah. Yeah, the paint gun is by Digi, Aqua Cheetah. One of many amazing Digi mods. We are all quite fortunate to have some of the incredible modders that we do in our community. When I started out doing the YouTube thing, I was kind of hoping I would contribute to that in some meaningful way over rather than just being someone who like not and I I should phrase this carefully I wanted to contribute as well because I love making stuff as well as making the videos and I'm quite fortunate that someone like Lucas took me under his wing and taught me how to do a lot of a lot of things Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I deliberately do leave flaws in this stuff, yeah, as you guys were just saying in chat. Um, I I don't want these to be impossible. I don't want these to be ships that you feel like, ugh, it's just another one that's going past. I can't do anything with it because you can't attack it. You need a whole armada if you want to be able to defeat it. I want this to be something that you look at and you're like, ooh, if I do this right, if I learn from the things that went wrong last time, I might be able to do this thing. <laughs> yeah, man, man. I equally teach what to do as I teach what not to do when you see me stuff things up. It's all part of fun. Maybe I do want the thruster in green. I just didn't like the rest of it. Nah. Nah. Oops. Wrong one. It's coming together alright, I think. Yeah, Eisen, that's exactly right. The secret is to remember where the weaknesses are, but then again, you've got the problem of me putting random variants in so that you don't know at a distance which one is which. And then, as the list of ships grows, the ability to remember any of them is going to become less because you could potentially be facing one of... 20, 30 ships. And are you really going to remember the weak spots on all of those? Probably not. So I kind of like that. Don't want those to remain green? Maybe I do. 
Yeah, actually. Let me change the other one back to green. Looks better. A bit more interesting. I was thinking bright yellow, Bilbo, for the, like, warning yellow or yellow and black for the cargo. But yeah, same thought. Something bright so you know where the good bits are. For those of you wondering why in creative mode I use a painting tool, this is why. Because there's no way I could paint that otherwise. Like, this is the sort of thing that should be integrated into vanilla. The other awesome thing about the painting tool is that it lets you paint your friend's grids in survival mode. So when Capac and I are building stuff, we can actually paint each other's grids, since we trust each other to not do horrible things most of the time. There's another green back here. Maybe... the new AI, will it give the ship's cargo ships more personality? Uh, this is because the ship drops the cargo, would it? Odds uh, the player will get distracted. With the loot dropping, could have the ship come around again and defend the fallen loot? Um, yes. More personality, more options, more behaviours. Not sure about coming back around to defend. Um, more like a lizard would drop its tail. Drop its, it'd drop the loot and run. be more that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly, Dragnon. Kind of like how some of the cargo ships drop decoys and then override thrusters and get out of dodge. Yeah, I think that looks better than dark. It's all just getting too dark and over overwhelmingly, so... Uh, I was thinking something like that, but trouble is there's no actual room to put anything over the other cargo ports. Because the thruster occupies it and the turrets do as well. So this would be the only port I'd be able to cover. Uh, could put something on the bottom, but there's probably not much value if I can't put it over the others. Which is unfortunate. Um, any other thoughts of things I should be doing to this? I don't think, I'm not going to add it to the mod today. Uh, what I'm thinking I will do is next time... I do an assertive cargo ship stream, I'll make a couple of variants, start working on one of the others, and then add both of those ships to the thing if I've got enough time. Uh, no, Norik Blah, because they're merge blocked, you can't occupy the same space. It's the same grid. Oh yeah, what is my PCU? Oh, that's like the old school door. Right. Space engineers crash for a second. 3,100! Booyah! 
I didn't even try that hard and I'm now keeping them comfortably under. That's awesome. Uh, so I got plenty for exterior lights. Uh, they're meant to get dropped onto a cargo car carrier, Bilbo. That's kind of the storyline behind them. They're not meant to do any sort of landing as such. Um, my concept for a cargo system like this would be you have thrusters on the cargo because that way the cargo carrying vessel doesn't need to account for the mass inside the cargo it's carrying. It's always going to have enough additional thrust to be able to carry whatever load you assign to it. So it should be good. Um, yeah, it's more story than real, if that makes sense. It's not meant to be. How it would actually work in game sort of thing. inside feel better. Uh, Stang, this is a ship for the Assertive Cargo Ships. This isn't something that I'm ever going to fly. There's no um, actual use for this thing apart from being a ship that you get to fight. So it's it's not don't think about this like a ship you would actually use in survival think about this like a ship that you would imagine in a bigger world if space engineers had it um doing some task uh imagine a story behind it not a survival mechanic behind it it just has it's I, the way i always say it is it only has to look the part it doesn't have to act the part Um, hopefully the next time I get to do one of these streams you'll see it in the mod. I won't have time to add it today, but not too long, I would hope. Um, it all depends on any extra shifts and how busy I am in the coming weeks. But probably within two weeks, I guess. And it is very much a guess. But I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to blueprint it before I forget. You're right, Aizen, I don't have a connector. I don't technically need one. I know I said I'd prefer them to have them, but... A number of the ships don't. I'm going to leave it without. It does look a bit like a cargo zeppelin. <laughs> You're right, Guardian. Uh. Uh, Madman, maybe. Maybe I'd put something with um, some welders on it to rebuild itself or be a little bit nastier. I think I'd probably reserve that more for a combat drone, though. Like a large ship drone that is for the really high level challenge. Um, that's one thing I would certainly consider. Because I do want to make some more nasty things to add to the mod soon. Oh, and I just realized something.
There we go. That's better. I don't need those windows to be green. Cool. Well, I feel better now because I've actually probably got another ship that can work on Omicron. Yay! I'm going to have to finish up the stream there, I think, guys. Hopefully, um, I may well do something tomorrow if I'm not... Uh, actually, no, I need to need to do Survival Impossible tomorrow. Probably, I might do a stream tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, if not, the next time I'm likely to stream is late next week, unless Top Engineer is on. Um, which hopefully it is. Hopefully we can all get together and do it. But, yeah, there should be plenty of other stuff to do. And plenty of other Capac stuff to do. I'm sure Capac will be streaming a fair bit. He seems to be really into atlas lately however he does have final fantasy now so at least until he finishes that i suspect he will be incognito and not doing much of anything other than that uh, but i'm sure we'll get together for something else soon and i will see all of you guys then i don't really have a and there's plenty more to come because i can't think of what the next thing definitely will be but there will be something so there's all that and plenty more to come maybe Let's finish on that, and I will see all of you guys then. Thanks for coming along.